For this Honda Rebel oil change, you're gonna need a wrench. I'm gonna use a long adapter and a 17 millimeter uh, socket to get into the, the drain. Before I get started, the one thing you have to do, of course, is start the engine and let it idle for a bit, let it warm up for a bit. We can drain it. The right side of the bike, you're gonna have the fill plug and also the dipstick. So you're going to remove it and just put it aside for now. This long socket and my 17 millimeter, and I'm going to thread it through here because it's very difficult to see where this bolt is. So if I look at it, there's like a piece of plastic here and you'll just go right through it. Very difficult to see, but if you put it through the, the uh, foot peg, right behind the foot peg, you actually will see it. It's always good to change your oil very often on bikes. You know, I do it every 4,000 miles. This, I might do it every 2,000. And once it's loose, all you have to do is just use your, your hand to, to do this. And we'll put it the same way in there. Just make sure that the, the catch, the pan is right underneath and it should be coming out. Here's the oil. It actually looks very clean. You know, on my bikes, if you follow the channel, you'll realize that I use Rotella T6 for all my bikes and that's what I plan on doing. All right, so let's just finish draining this. No oil filter on this bike. Rather simple. It's a rather simple setup. And that's the, the drain bolt. You don't need to do anything with it to just clean it off. Um, the one thing that you might want to consider is getting a magnetic, magnetic one. And we're just going to fit it in through the exact same spot that we used to remove it. And I'm looking at the hole on the other side and I'm gonna thread it by hand this way. I'm not even using the wrench at this point. Just to kind of start out. Take my wrench. And I believe it's 18 pounds of torque. But you might want to check your manual. I just do it by feel. There we go. And just like, once it's tight, just a little bit of a turn and that's pretty much all I do. I do everything kind of like my feel, I don't target, but can uh, look at your manual. And now on the right side, we are gonna fill our hole with oil. 1.6, so I'm gonna keep going. And then I'm gonna check using the, the dipstick. So this is your dipstick from the Rebel. That's your high mark, that's your low mark. So it has to be in between. Closer to the highest mark is usually what I aim for. So in order for that to happen, you're gonna have to turn on the bike, let it run for a couple of seconds and then check it. So I'm just gonna check it first. And it is right there. So it's nice and clean. And we're going to screw this in and we're going to start the bike and let it run just for, for a little bit. This is going to get the oil circulating in the engine. Being old does not use any oil. It's pretty consistent. So let's recheck. Just a little bit more oil and we're almost there. I mean, I could leave it like this and it would be fine, but might as well get it right up to that mark. I think I'm going to use all of this, uh, all of this oil. Interesting. Same thing. That's how you change the oil on a 1997 Honda Rebel 250. It really couldn't be any simpler. Guys, that's how you change the oil on a Honda Rebel 250 from 1997. All Honda Rebels are pretty much this, you know, very similar. Some, the newer ones, of course, have oil filters. This one doesn't. But 
Yeah, it couldn't be any simpler than this to change an oil filter or change the oil on this thing. It doesn't use much oil. This doesn't um, waste a lot of gas. It really is a nice bike. Only downside for me is that it's just tiny. It is just, I'm not used to riding so low like this, but it is a cool bike. And I, I like that it's a bit of a underdog of motorcycling. But that's it, that's how you do a, a basic oil change on a bike like this. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next video.